Isn't that beautiful? Listeria. In the evenings, it just knocks you out with a sweet smell. We grew this one from a seed pod that was next to growing from a wisteria in a small town not too far from here, next to the historic Hammers Market. And this um, beam that's sitting up here that you see all the the drip lines coming down and the hooks. We tried the upside down hanging tomatoes. Actually quite a few. All of these were tomatoes. And uh, that's what this is up here for. Didn't like them. It did not work well for us. So since I've been putting tomatoes in the ground, we've been doing a whole lot better. So not knowing what else to do with this beam sitting up here, since it's already there, we transplanted the wisteria and let it just travel along this beam. And it's coming over and attaching itself to the the roof and then the honeysuckle on the other side is attaching itself to that, that two by two there. We have one on the other side of this building too that is doing the same thing. And it helps when they grow up like you see there on the house. It helps cool the house. You just want to make sure you don't have one anywhere near your septic system. We bought two more. And we were thinking about putting them on the other side, but that would be over by the septic system and they will uh, destroy your septic system. They'll go into the leach field pipe and send their roots down there and clog your pipe up. Anyway, thought I'd make a quick video about the importance of the trimetric battery monitor or some form of battery monitor because without one you just don't know where you are and when you have a trimetric you can know exactly and so I'm at 13.4 volts I'm putting 30 amps charge into the batteries I know that because there's no minus sign here and this says it's in charge mode so it's putting 30 amps in the battery And it says the batteries are 80% full. If I hold this button down and look at the amp hours, I'm down by 167 amp hours. So last night we used probably about 160 amp hours over the night, which isn't too bad. So we didn't take them down lower than 20%, which is what we're trying to do is to make these batteries last as long as possible. Days since charge, so it char was charged yesterday, it says 0.9, so it came to full charge yesterday. Days since equalized, uh, this rolls back over at five days, but according to my chart, I equalized on the 23rd. And this is watts rather than amps, watt hours rather than amp hours. Percent replaced today, since this morning, it's replaced 7% of what it needs. So I don't have to guess, I know exactly where the batteries are. And the way this trimetric works is it takes consideration the size of your, your battery bank. It records how many... Uh, watts are going out and compares that reference to what it thinks its voltage should be and comparing the two and then it records all of the watts coming in and that's done through this shunt on the negative side of your battery bank there's a shunt and when current passes through the shunt across this shunt here 
it records a millivoltage here. And this millivoltage talks to the trimetric meter and tells it exactly how much current has come and gone. So it records how much has come in from the solar and how much has gone out by how much the inverter has used. And it, it's not guesswork, it's down to a science. It knows that you have to put a minimum of 20% more in than you take out. So if I take 100 amp hours out, I'm going to have to put 120 amp hours back in and that's relative to your efficiency loss. It's calculating that, and so it's very, very accurate. It's the, there are better ways if you knew how to uh, read your hydrometer and you had a temperature compensated hydrometer and you checked every single cell. Uh, you you might be able to get a little bit more accurate, but that takes a couple hours to do that. And I just come up and glance at the meter, and I know whether I need to turn on the generator or use less power or can we watch a movie tonight or or not it takes all the guesswork out of it the other thing is here when you have a charge controller that tells you how many uh, how many amps it's bringing in and then it records it for the day for the week for the month and then for the year and it handles your equalizing and everything that you need. I can see right now it's 29.4 amps coming in from half of my solar system and then or three quarters of it. They have 700 watts on this charge controller because it's a 60 amp. When I go to a 24 volt system I'll actually be able to handle 1400 watts but when you're at a 12 volt system it's only able to handle 700 which works out to 57 point something amps and it's a 60 amp controller this is a, a cheap Ramji 30 amp controller and I have 300 watts on this one so I can't really tell what this is putting out except computing the difference between this and what the trimetric says I figure out how many watts this one's putting out. So I just do a little math that way and it's really easy to tell. When I go to a 24 volt system, then I'll have everything on one controller. So the trimetric, we're in good shape. Went into the day uh, starting this morning with 80% uh, in our batteries. And it's kind of a cloudy and sunny cloudy day. And I'm sure that we're going to recover just fine by this afternoon. So that's good news. I can leave the house, not worry about it, leave everything on. And I'm confident that we've got a good state of charge going into the day. Anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Have a really blessed day.